What up, Buttercup? Let's talk about smart contracts. So I think the term smart contract is a little bit misleading. A better term might be blockchain code. This is a piece of code that creates if-then situations. If this happens, then this will happen. These smart contracts function automatically and are created to reduce human error because we make a lot of errors. <laughs> Because these programs are run on a blockchain, they have those blockchain characteristics. By the way, if you haven't checked out the video on blockchain technology, watch that first because that concept is needed to understand smart contracts. I'll throw that video on the screen or link it below. Watch that and then come back. So these smart contracts are immutable, which means they cannot be changed. So if there is a bug in your blockchain code, you would simply write a new one and stop using the old one. What's cool is these programs themselves control blockchain assets, meaning it can store and transfer cryptocurrency. I'll give you an example. Let's say you write a smart contract for your sales quota. If you make 10 sales, then you will get a $10,000 bonus. There's that if then situation that I was talking about. So the smart contract, that blockchain code, holds on to that $10,000. So if you reach 10 sales, at the moment you reach that 10th sale, that $10,000 will be transferred instantly into your wallet. The code itself is moving those funds. Or if the term ends and you haven't reached 10 sales, that code will return the money back to the investor. These actions are all executed by the blockchain code with no need for human interference. The code will always execute as written and no one can interfere with its operation. These contracts are agreed to by many parties and stored on computers all over the world. There's that decentralized aspect again. This means there can't be discrepancies or different ways to interpret the contract. Again, this blockchain code is designed to remove human error, which solves all kinds of issues. Here's some examples of ways people think smart contracts will be used for. Liability and automatic payments, insurance, real estate, foreign payments because it allows for trustworthiness and transparency automatic inventory management. Let me just explain what that means because it's actually really cool. Let's say you're doing inventory. You can theoretically write a smart contract that says once you get to under 25% below this certain product, the smart contract orders more of it. So you're there keeping inventory and your smart contract is automatically buying the supplies that you need when it realizes you need it. I wanna mention oracles. Oracles grab real world data and send it to that smart contract. For example, if you had a smart contract that said when Bitcoin hits $60,000, sell half of it. The oracle would be sending that live Bitcoin price indicator, telling it when it gets to $60,000 so the smart contract knows it can sell. I will have a separate video all on oracles because again, a lot to go in on. Smart contracts are also the infrastructure behind decentralized exchanges where you can swap different cryptocurrencies. Again, I will have a whole separate video going on to decentralized exchanges. All right, let's sum up. Smart contract is a piece of code on the blockchain that works on an if-then basis. If you give me three Ethereum, then I will give you one Bitcoin. But the code will automatically do that. No human interaction is necessary. These babies run automatically and as they were written. All right, I hope that gives you a broad overview of the concept of smart contracts. Again, in this playlist, I'm gonna have so many more videos where I go into the nitty gritty of all the different parts. If this video was helpful, consider giving it a like and I will see you in the next one. Peace.